Engineers at the University of Sheffield have been making face shields for the nurses and doctors to protect them from the coronavirus. They use special machines called 3D printers to make the headband, the part that keeps it on your head. There are 23 3D printers running at the same time in the Diamond Building, the university. Lots of other people around are also doing this at home with their own printers. As soon as the printers are finished, the headbands are cleaned and the engineers add elastic bands to keep it on. They use a laser to cut out the see-through plastic shield that goes over your face. All the parts of the shield are taken to the cleaning lab to be washed with chemicals. The side of the shields are melted and bent to make the shape, then they cool off. Finally, they're put together and finished. Every day, they count the face shields to see how many they've made and write it on a board. Then they label them to be sent to the right places. The next day, a van delivers them to all the doctors and nurses around Sheffield. Can we ask you some questions about engineering? <laughs> sure, what would you like to know? What's the best thing of being an engineer? Uh, the best thing about being an engineer for me is being able to uh, make things that help people and uh, solve their problems, and make their lives better and it's really fun when you actually get to make something uh, that works and you can take something from being an idea in your head uh, to being a real thing uh, that's moving in front of you. How long have you been an engineer for? I have been an engineer for 14 years. How do you become an engineer? There are different ways that you could become an engineer. For me, I studied science and maths um, all the way up to A-levels, and then that meant that I was able to go to university, and I did what's called mechanical engineering. So that's working uh, with bits that move, so it might be cars, robots, or your washing machine. It could be anything that moves, really. Um, so I studied that and then I went and worked um, for a company designing bits and bobs but then I decided I wanted to teach engineering so now I help students to learn about engineering uh, and make fun things. What's your favourite part of the job? Uh, my favourite part of that job uh, is when I uh, see a student learn something new um, and be able to make something with it. It's almost like when you see in the cartoons a little light bulb appear over their head and you realise that they've actually understood the thing um, that you've been trying to teach them. And that's really exciting. And I love seeing the creations that students have made um, and how excited they get uh, when it really works. What makes a good engineer? A good engineer is somebody who can tackle a problem, who can think about it from all uh, different kind of angles, um, who maybe doesn't just think in a normal way, but uh, sometimes comes up with really crazy ideas for things, um, and someone who really likes to explore, um, to see what can be done, um, who likes uh, making things or uh, drawing things or just coming up with ideas and I think it's also someone who really cares about uh, what they do and wanting to make the world better. What did you want to be before you were an engineer? When I was younger I wanted to be a vet because I really like animals um, but I realised that I don't really like biology and chemistry and they're kind of important for being a vet and actually what I really like is problem solving um, and that is a big part of what being an engineer is about. Who's your favourite engineer? Someone called Trevor Bayliss who made a wind-up radio 
uh, and that was really cool because that meant that um, kids in um, poorer countries where they didn't have electricity uh, could still listen to the radio by just uh, winding and winding it up um, and so that was a really clever invention um, and there was also um, I watched a film about a boy um, who made a windmill that managed to provide electricity for his whole village and I thought that was really cool too um, in terms of things that I just find really fun there's a guy called Colin Furs um, if you look him up on YouTube uh, maybe get your parents to do it you can see him doing some really fun inventions where he makes rocket powered bikes and all kinds of uh, crazy um, things so he can fly and he can climb up walls and um, and he likes to do really fun things with engineering. What's the coolest thing you've made? What's the coolest thing I've made? Mm. I'm trying to build a guitar at the moment um, and I like making musical instruments actually. I made this drum which is called a cajon and that's pretty fun. Um, but probably um, we made a really cool thing working with a lady um, who has got something called motor neurone disease and that means uh, that she can't move uh, her body and just about the only thing that she can move is her eyes but uh, she used to uh, really like painting and so um, we uh, made a machine so that she could use her eyes by moving her eyes around the place she could use a computer and then she could draw um, and it would make a pen move around on a piece of paper uh, and do real drawings um, and it was really cool um, because it meant she got back to doing something that she really loved that she couldn't do before. Bye! Bye. Thanks for listening everyone and if you want to know any more about how to be an engineer I'd love to come and talk to you in your class when we're all uh, allowed back to work and school um, and maybe you can ask some of your own questions.